Jesus, bananas with all those fucking infinity screens. Yeah, I know, right? Turning the sound off because even though that was just you. <laughs> true that, true that. Alrighty, hey guys. Uh, welcome back behind the screen. As always, I'm Jim. I'm Dave. And uh, we're doing a continuation of uh, Stone Strix's Monster Day uh, Compendium. Uh, Day number Trey. Yeah. Trey, Trace. I'm going to say Quattro. That's not right. <laughs> I mean, if we had like six hours to do the whole thing, I'm pretty sure we could, but nobody oh. wants to sit for fucking six hours. Yeah. I mean, two we, hours is still pretty deep in it. Yeah. I mean, well, during the last video, I mean, we hit an hour and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, we've got this, man. We, we kind of breezed through them. And then we did like one more section and it was like two hours later. It's like, oh, my God, how did we even? No way. It was. <laughs> no, I mean, it was like an hour later, but I believe we got through another good chunk of letters. We, we, I mean, yeah, we went through an entire uh, lettering. D, E, G, F. F, G. F, G. Well, <laughs> no. So we did four bricks of lettering? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but okay. So yeah, so we're going to continue on um, starting off where we left. We're starting where we left off. Here we go. Um, with H. And the first one in H is the Hawk Fox. Yeah. Which I believe I've seen before. Might have. Um, I didn't. So it's a medium monstrosity, which I'm kind of surprised it's not a beast. Well, it's a mix, man. I guess so. I think griffins and stuff like that are like hippogriffs or whatever still qualify as monstrosities because they're I believe a mix so. of monsters. Right. Or mix of animals. Mm-hmm. Uh, 13 AC uh, with 38 HP. Uh, it's got uh, 30 walk speed and it's got hefty uh, 60 feet Jesus. Uh, flying, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a quick little fucker. Which I almost thought it might be like a glider, but no, it eh. straight up flies. I mean, if it's a hawk. Yeah, true, true. Um, like m most animals, it's almost no intelligence sure. and very low charisma yep, yep, yep. Um, but it's very quick 16 index yeah uh, it's also got some stealth to it plus five to stealth as a skill flying above in silence mm -hmm. and then dropping down on you yep which is where that perception comes in mm. the passive of 16 God, yeah. uh, also has 60 foot dark vision sure uh, doesn't speak yeah. uh, and it's a CR2 not bad um, here's that flying above and striking it's a dive attack if the hot fox is hawk, hot fox, hot fox. If the hot fox, if the uh, hawk fox is flying and dives at least thirty feet straight towards a target, uh, and then hits it with a melee weapon attack, the attack deals an extra nine average two d eight damage. Sure. Okay. Uh, most animals get the keen sight and smell. Yeah. Um, also has a nimble action. So okay, so it can take the uh, dash or disengage as a bonus action. I would. I'd pretty much want to see that happen anyway. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> if only it could be a familiar. Mm. Or a companion or something. Mm. That's not aligned. Yeah, yeah, but normally monstrosities, monstrosities can't. can't. This is true. I mean, if you wanted to homebrew it, I mean, these are homebrew. Yeah, so there's nothing saying you can't. Right. DM's call. Uh, let's get multi-attack. So it can make one bite and one talent attack. Uh, which, look at those fuckers. That's yeah, they're pretty good. Um, let's see, we got bite plus five to hit, uh, 1d8 plus three or seven average for mm -hmm. the bite. Mm -hmm. um, and then talons, same to hit, and then uh, average of eight or 2d4 plus three. So, I'm with it. I mean, those are kind of cool. And I mean, something occurred to me this afternoon that we talked about last night when we were talking about like torpedo attack and stuff like mm -hmm. that, doing things in a straight line and not zigzagging mm -hmm. it's the same thing for the dive attack when you incorporate movements you start to build up resistances so it takes away from your overall speed versus right. just stroke fastest way is a straight line mm -hmm. so it's always tuck in tight and just go same with the dive like they just tuck in and mm. just stop flapping and just fall right, right. It doesn't work 
So I think that's why you see a lot of those, like if it's charging in a straight line or diving in a straight line or swimming in a straight line, it can do this because it's building speed with the least resistance to just carve that one straight line. That's true. Now, having it be able to do like diving turns and hard banks and still get that bonus, that'd be fucking do barrel. Yeah. Uh, something I would like to see with these. I, I don't. I know hawks don't uh, don't don't have like a uh, flock or anything. They're they're solitary hunters. Yeah, for the most part. Um, I don't know about foxes. If they do, they have a pack or anything. Solitary. Okay. Because I would almost like to see these things in a small pack. Sure. But then you're 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 moving into the world of like coyotes and shit. True. Foxes are very solitary. They have okay. they have a den and they have more than one, but they hunt by themselves. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. But yeah, so that's the hawk fox. Pack tactics, I think, would be a little unfair for a fly speed of sixty. Oh yeah. Like don't probably don't give them pack tactics, <laughs> but I would just like to see like three or four of these things like soaring sure. around yeah. you. That'd be kind of cool. Run, mouse, run! You're gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. Headless Horseman! Yeah, I've seen this, and I'm sure we have both seen multiple versions of this done. Yeah. Either really badly or really good. I'm hoping really good. Uh, yeah. I mean, Stone Strikes does some good work. So, mm-hmm. uh, I hate this word. What? The dull hand? Dull hand? Yeah. Dull hand? Uh, dull also, hand. <laughs> Patches of hula hand. Essentially, it's dull hand. Um, so also the headless horseman is also known as the Doolahan. Um, these fiends wander the wander the world in search of the dead and dying. Uh, they fancy themselves as controllers of population and the eradicators of pestilence. Sure, sure. Okay, so they believe they're doing good. Sure, sure. Um, let's see. Uh, well, let's read this right down here real quick. Uh, we got uh, Dread Steed. Headless, a headless horseman always hunts uh, for heads while riding its mount. Some may be found riding a living or skeletal war horse. A particularly powerful horseman ride dread, ho- dread steeds, uh, hellish mounts that invoke as much fear as their riders. I just give them a nightmare. Yeah, that's what I would assume. Yeah. All right, so it's a medium fiend, yeah, which I'm kind of surprised it's not undead, but I, I get where they're coming from. Yeah. Uh, lawful evil. Uh, it's got chain mail on. Uh, AC of 15. It's got 153 HP. Standard speed, which I, I, I guess so. should make it a little faster. Yeah, I would think so. Um, Give them at least 40. Right. Um, pretty good across the board. Intelligence just being average. Sure. Um, it's got uh, con saves and charisma saves. Uh, it also has animal handling, which I guess so with the horse. Yeah. Um, and a perception. Uh, it's got dark vision up to 120 feet and a passive of 15. A pretty good passive. It can underst- It understands common, abyssal, and infernal, but it cannot speak. Because it's a pumpkin. Well, kind of. He's a pumpkin. Yeah, kind of. But I feel like he should be able to talk. I, I mean, I would agree with you. Just like maybe it's like a echoey, hollow. I believe the traditional one. Talked to Ichabod Crane, didn't he? Uh uh-uh. uh. And like laughed and shit. Like, it laughed. Wah, 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 yeah, yeah, wah, wah, it wah. laughed. I consider that talking. <laughs> I consider it. It's it's making verbal noises. He's using vocal cords inside of his pumpkin. Yeah. I mean, honestly, fuck the rules. I'd let him talk. Yeah. I mean, I think that'd be cool because, you know, most of my characters would be like, steal the pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's talking to you the whole time. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. What you don't know is when you steal that pumpkin, you become the raider. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, God. I can already see Maddie putting the pumpkin on his head. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Bert. Bert. I mean, yeah, he would probably... He, he would have put it on to scare Bird or something. <laughs> I just wanted to leave the group as it was. You couldn't make it any easier or more willing to stay at that point. Uh, it's a CR-8. Sure. Uh, he has mounted uh, combatant. Yeah, so he's running like a cavalier. Uh, yeah. So the horseman can force an attack, an attack targeted at its mount to target uh, itself instead. Sure. So don't hit my horse. Don't hit the horse. Uh, ride by. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a drive by. I'm assuming it's got to be really close to it. Uh, while 
Well, it's just like the Gill Man had swim by. <laughs> um, maybe he would, maybe Snowtricks live in a really dangerous neighborhood where there's just drive bys and he just dabbles. Yeah, Snowtricks, are you from Savannah? Are you from Compton? <laughs> are you What's from up? Compton? Like, oh my god, it's not blood or curb, but he's just that dorky dude in the middle. Like, <laughs> Jake, go outside. There's bullets tonight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, ride by. While mounted, the horseman and its mount don't provoke opportunity attacks when they move out of an enemy's reach. Not bad. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that was the same with swim by. Yeah. So, I mean, that's okay. Give a little benefit to being on its housey. Yeah. Uh, so, that means right off the bat, you want to get him away from the horse. Yeah. Uh, so, it's got. Uh, Multi attack, you can make two melee attacks. Oh no. <sighs> what, Vorpal? Yeah, those are brutal, dude. The f- Vorpal blades are fucking mean. They kill, like, they kill one thing really good. And it's oh, just really? up to, like, what. Oh, wait, what the fuck is it? Here it is. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna just, take this just out. Just kind of glancing at it, it almost looks like it's a nine life stealer. Oh, uh, kind of. Uh, so it's got plus seven to hit. It does an average of 17 damage, uh, 3d8 plus 4 slashing. Uh, when the horseman rolls a 20 on the attack roll, if the damage reduces the creature to zero hit points, the horseman cuts off the creature's head. Okay, so that's just like flavor text. All right. Gain plus 3 bonus to attack damage rolls made with this magic weapon and additional weapon and there's resistance to slashing damage. When you attack a creature that has at least one head, with this weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, you oh. cut off one of the creature's heads. The creatures die. If it can't survive without a lost head, the creature is immune to this effect. If it is immune to the slashing damage, it doesn't have, a, doesn't have or need a head, and has legendary actions, or the DM decides the creature is too big for its head to be cut off the weapon, such creature instead deals an extra 68 slashing from the head. Yeah, Vorpal shit, like, it's pretty brutal. Okay. And I mean, with this, it's just... Uh, if it reduces it to, to zero, zero, it's just cutting off the head. Yeah, so it's pretty much flavor text at that point. It, it changes it from the way the player would use it. Yeah. To where if it doesn't need it, it can lop it off. If it has more than one, flop. Good. Right. But in this case, it's... If you reach zero, <laughs> I'm flopping you off. It's, I got a Vulpa sword. Let's go fight a Hydra. <laughs> the, the, the game would never end. I know, right? I chopped off a head. Easy. <laughs> Good job. It got two more. I chopped off a head. <laughs> Great. <laughs> cool. cool. Uh, we got Jack o' Lantern. A recharge of six. This is a ranged uh, weapon. You know, when he hurls that. Yeah, he better throw that fucking pumpkin. Plus seven to hit. It's got a range of 30 to 60, so it's not super far away, but it's it's still some distance. Yeah. That's, that's, movement, that's normal movement and dash. Um got a it's going to deal 13 damage or 2d8 plus 4 uh, bludgeoning plus an additional uh, 14 or 46 fire it's on fire it's on fire yeah uh if the target is a creature it must succeed on a dc 15 con save or become stunned until the horseman's next turn because you got hit with a fucking pumpkin. you got hit with a pumpkin and that's it's a magical pumpkin yeah it's can lit you on fire <laughs> It careened into you, and then it didn't smash on impact. It went back. All I can picture is like the mouth opening up and like biting your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Get it off! <laughs> Get your thumb out of my eye. <laughs> no, I, I. I mean, I like it. I think it's fun. Um, it's not super exaggerated. No. It's it's good. I, I think there's a lot of role play opportunities for there it. Is I mean, yes, the things I'm throwing up are kind of more <laughs> jokey. Sure. You know, like the pumpkin biting you <laughs> it comes up, or or you know, even you know, stealing the pumpkin head. Yeah, and it talking to you the whole time. But that's kind of how I would run it. <laughs> it's totally viable. I mean, I just I think it's a good monster. It's very rounded. Mm. It's just it, it's it's threatening enough, is what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to worry about opportunity attacks. No. It can stay on its mount. It can throw on its mount, and it's got two longsword attacks that it can make. I mean, fuck! If you give him a nightmare, let the fucking horse do some damage. Yeah. Takes its turn on his, and they just fuck shit up. Yeah. 
Because nightmares aren't no joke. Fuck no, they are. Oop. Oh, we're going to the eyes. The illets. Illets. Which, if you remember the beginning of our video series of this shit, the illets are Eldrazi. Eldrazi from Magic the Gathering. Yes. Uh, renamed and then converted into something else. D&D monsters. Yeah. Uh, so, so they were originally from the far realm, uh, traveling between planets or planes. I'm sorry. Uh, for de- traveling between planes mm-hmm. for devouring the energy uh, of any living being they encounter and draining the magic to sustain their hunger, mm-hmm. leaving only a desert of white dust and rock behind, which are the remains of everything once lived that once lived there. Sure. Okay. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, just right there off of that little text would be cool. It's literally in, in these things. Wait, it's, it's the just, world of our eats all yeah. life, moves on to the next. And then just bones and dust. Boom. This and boots out. <laughs> uh, so the first one we got is the Illet Butcher. I think I said that right. Yeah, you did. Illet I Butcher. Mean, there's, there's no pronunciation for this one, so have at it. Yeah. <laughs> um, that could work, too. <laughs> it's a huge aberration. Chaotic evil. Mm. I'm pretty sure they're all going to be chaotic evil. Yeah. Um, it's got a 14 AC. It's pretty... It's got 184 HP. Yeah. And it's pretty fast with 40 movement speed. Yeah. Um, it ain't that smart, and it ain't that pretty. Um, but it is definitely strong, and it's definitely a uh, party. I mean, it says right in the description, sole purpose, eating and sustaining. Yep. So think of it like any other animal. Um, but they're not fast. I mean, they got an average, uh, or the, the base of 10 for decks. Yeah. Um, so, you know, make them do those deck saves. Yeah, they're not agile. Uh, it does have wisdom saving throws and a plus six to perception, uh, giving it a passive of 16. Nice. Uh, 60 foot dark vision, no language, um, which I kind of would have thought that there might be some kind of language, maybe whether it be just telepathic or something. Maybe it might have just not been planned out that way since it was originally just Eldrazi. And I right. I think Eldrazi talked. No. I think it would be cool though, maybe if they communicate God, yeah. with emotions. Yeah, they're empathic. Yeah, all day long. Um, it's a CR nine, mm. uh, alien mind. So the butcher has advantage on wisdom saving throws. So not only does it have a plus six to the saving throw, it also has advantage. Nice, nice, nice. Um, ingest scion. Scion. Uh-huh. What is that scion car? No, from a, it's like a movie. It's like a planet or something. Scion? Yeah. Oh. Somebody let me know. There's um, a lot of things it's used for. Uh, as also a car. I, 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 not a car guy either. Not a football guy. Not a car guy. <laughs> and all these things are based off of Scion. Uh, Scion football teams. <laughs> <laughs> the Scion car, the Scion sandwich. It's all there. It probably comes from an anime. I'm a weeaboo. There is... Um, so, uh, so the ingest scion as a bonus action, it can ingest a a small elit, car. A, a small car, an elit scion uh, within ten feet of it, uh, destroying it. The butcher then regains use of consume. Okay, so I'm assuming that the scion is another version, just as like a the bonus butcher. Action: the butcher can ingest an elit scion. Within 10 feet of it, destroying the side. It has to be. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, it's got to be eating a little peon for cannon fodder. Because mm. scions are like heralds. Right? Yeah. Uh, so it can make two claw attacks. Chop, chop. Um, plus 10 to hit, 10 foot reach, and it does an average of 22 damage. 3d10 plus 6. Nice. So I mean, maxed out, that's 36 damage. Nice. Um, and it's making two of those a turn. It also has Constrict, uh, so it's a melee attack, plus 10 to hit. This is only 5 foot reach. Grappled apples. Yep. Uh, 19 average damage, 3d8 plus 6. Um, and the target is grappled automatically. It can try to escape with a DC 16 uh, check uh, until the grapple ends. The creature is restrained, and the butcher can't construct another creature. Nice deal. Um, consume, and this plays into the ingest scion. Uh, the butcher targets one creature that it can see within 60 feet of it. Uh, 
the target must make a DC 16 con save, taking 28, which is 86 necrotic damage on a failed save, half as much on a success. If the damage reduces the creature to zero, its body becomes a pile of white dust. So it's different. Because there's the scion. Right. But I'm trying to figure out... It's just a consume. Well, I'm trying to figure out what's the point of this. It because, has to play into this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Whatever 100%. that does. It's a little ding-dong guy. Yeah. And you I'm, just use that as a, as a way to gain health back. So assume that if there's one of these big ones, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of those small ones. Beforehand. Right. Well, like my whole thing is it's okay. This says that the butcher regains use of consume. There's no recharge on consume. Okay. So you can only use it once. I guess so. It just doesn't state that. So, sure. it, so I'm confused about that, but I'm also confused about, I mean, of course we haven't looked at the scion yet. But just based off of this, I'm confused about why you would want to consume a scion. Probably something awesome. Other than maybe it is the consume only goes, only works once. Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe you can only consume one person at a clip. Maybe. I mean, those would be the two first things I would do. If I was running this in the game, consume can only get one person. Mm. But if I eat a scion, I could pop another one in, like a fucking M and M. All right. And now I've got two. Mm. Or I can only use consume once, once per day. All right. Uh, and it just was left out. Who the hell knows? Yeah. So Stonestrix knows, but he doesn't watch these things. <laughs> For all we know, he doesn't exist anymore. He's dead. <laughs> no. I mean, it would be a sad day. But... It would be. Um, so that's the butcher. This one's the monitor. Monitor. Monitor lizard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a, oh, they're both huge. Okay. Yeah, these are the biggies, I think. Um, huge aberration, same thing. Uh, it's, this is a little bit easier to hit. Huge aberration. So what did I say? You were right. Oh. I said, you said aberration, I said aboriginal. Oh. <laughs> uh, AC of 12, a little bit easier to hit than the butcher. Mm. Um, it's also not as hardy with, uh, 126 HP. A little smaller. Um, this also, though, has a climb speed of 40, as well mm. as a, a land speed. So it's a climber. Yeah, he's got the little dingly danglies. Um, yeah, and I mean, other than that, he's... That's a pretty similar. Yeah, pr pretty much. It's a little bit weaker. Sure. Um, same thing with the wisdom save. It's just plus five instead of six. Uh, you made a mistake! Nah. Where? Uh, it's a plus six to perception, but a passive of 15. We've seen that before. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Uh, dark vision, 60 feet. Oh, but he's nerfing. Uh, it's a CR7. Yeah. Uh, it has the alien mind, so the wisdom saves have advantage. And that's the only thing it has as far as, like, little abilities. Uh, but then he's it got has... spawn scion. Yes, he does. Oh. Well, I mean, besides, like, up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This the is features. The actions. Yeah. Features, yeah. Uh, Multi-attack, he can make two fist attacks. <laughs> so he's fist and uh, plus eight to hit, uh, ten foot reach, so it's long reach. Yeah, uh, he's a rock'em sock'em robot. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think, be real quick, quick and witty about something. <laughs> Not always funny, but I'm always real quick to get there. Um, so it's gonna do twenty one average, uh, which is pretty damn close to the claw attack over here from the butcher. Yeah, um, three d eight. Plus uh, five, or th I'm sorry, three D ten plus five. Um, makes can make two of those. Has the constrict, so we're good there. Yep, and spawn scion three times a day. Uh, the the monitor uh, spawns a illit scion uh, that appears in an unoccupied unoccupied space within five feet of it. Sure. I kind of would have liked it to be like a D four. Just because I like multiples. How many can poop out? Yeah. Is that just one? Well, we just gotta figure out how well the 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 scion is a large. Is a large. I would assume that's the scion. I would. Or it's the monitor. Or it's the devastator. Devastator. Might be the devastator. Who the fuck knows? Okay, so I don't know. That's probably not the devastator. Seeing as how the devastator is gargantuan. Scroll down a minute. No, I don't got nothing. It's got a flute in its hand. It's got a flute. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this thing's got tentacles. So that's the scion. 
Yeah, this is Scion. Sweet. Uh, so Scions are large. Sure. Uh, they got an AC of 12. Um, they're uh, looks like the weakest of them so far, which sure. with 45 HP. Um, it has a burrow speed of 10. Dig. Dig. It's got hands. It's got hands. Um, pretty weak. Strongest stat being strength with 17. Sure. I mean, it's just smaller, so everything's going to be scaling down. We don't really have to dig deep into that one. Yeah. Um, it's got the wisdom saves. It also has stealth. But the perception is The perception. It's a 15 uh, passive. It's five. Yep, and plus five to the skill. Makes sense, dude, right. Yep. Uh, also has dark vision. It's a CR1. Yeah. It's got that alien mind feature. And then tentacles. Tentacruel. Uh, plus five to hit, 10 foot reach. Um, deals an average of 10 damage, 2d6 plus three. Uh, if the target is a creature, it is grappled with an escape DC of 16. So just like the butcher, but even harder. Well, butcher and... Uh, the monitor. The monitor. Uh, it's just as hard to escape from one of these as them. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, everything else is the same. So... And then we get to the hardest, biggest challenge rating monster we have yet to see. In this time, yep. I think we've seen one that was Fusion 18. Elemental wasn't that big. I, I want to see we saw an 18 somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, but real quick. What's the point of eating these things? I would just, I'd probably just be the consume and just being able to eat people in rapid succession. Maybe if he eats it, he can do it out of his turn. Maybe? I don't know. We'll leave it up to you guys. Yeah. As a DM, you figure it out how you think you should play it. Because there's multiple paths he can take. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we got the Elder Devastator. Blah, 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 blah. Gargantuan. Or Gargant Twin. Uh, it's yeah. a. AC 18, but we yep. have seen higher ACs. We have not seen higher hit points, though. Yes, this is the ma the, the highest hit points we've seen so far. 20v20 20 20 plus 100. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, average of 310. Stats are kind of fwee fwee, except for that con and strength. It's got speed of 50. Yeah, it's, got pretty, it's pretty damn fast. Uh, it's also got uh, strength and con saves on top of the wisdom. Mm. Uh, perception skill plus eight. Yep, yep. Has some immunities. Uh, it's immune to psychic damage. Uh, it's got uh, resistance to or immunity to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non magical weapons. Okay, so nothing fancy, but it's just gotta be magical. <laughs> it's just it's gotta be magical and it's straight up immunity. It's not resistance. Not yet. It just, it just didn't work. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. Oh, no. um, it's also can't be charmed or frightened. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, it's got a 18 passive, and it's got a 120 foot dark vision. It speaks Illit and Talana. So maybe he forgot to add. I think he forgot <laughs> to add those to the others. <laughs> he made this one first. He might have. And then just forgot to put the other ones. In. Yeah, maybe. Or it's invisible ink. You have to do it magically. It's like <laughs> <a vision code>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, has the alien mind. Mm. Uh, blighted ta blighted trail. Mm. Uh, terrain that the devastator passes over turns to white ash. Plants are destroyed in that area and cannot regrow for one d ten days. Nice. That is ingest scion. It's a bonus action. The Devastator can ingest the Scion within 15 feet of it, destroying the Scion. The Devastator then regains uh, 16 3d8 hit points. Sure. Um, Scour from existence. Yes. Uh, when the Devastator reduces a creature to zero hit points, the creature's body becomes a pile of white dust. There ain't no resurrection from that. Nah, when you're, when you're, when you're dust, that's it. You're dust. That, that's it. I mean, there's also no reincarnation. Nah, there's no... Tear your sheet up. Make a new one. Roll a new character, please. Either that or here, play this illit <laughs> for the rest of just, the just keep this session. Just keep for me, please. Um, we got multi-attack. It can make four fist attacks. A lot of fists. A lot of fists. Um, it's plus 13 to hit with a reach of 15. Nice. That's a big reach, and that's a big plus, plus to hit. Uh, average 20 damage, 2d12 plus 7. Sure. Um, and then it also has Maddening Roar, which is a recharge of six. The Devastator emits a mind-shattering roar. 
each creature of the Devastator's choice within 100 feet of it uh, and able to hear the roar must make a DC 18 wisdom save on a failed. Uh, the creature takes 44 average or uh, 8d10 psychic damage and is afflicted with short-term madness. Nice. That is nice. I like that. On a success, the creature takes half as much and isn't affected by the madness. Now, riddle me this. Have you ever come across somebody who's played a hearing uh, impaired character? I've thought about it. So far, <laughs> really, like, really badly. I thought, like, man, you just play a deaf character. I, I have thought about it. And then it's like, well, because there's a lot of shit that would impede that game for you. But then there's shit like this where it's like, I'd be the best. Right. <laughs> I, 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 the only thing that's really stopped me mm-hmm. is the... I don't want to say tomfoolery. Yeah, there's but a just, lot of fuckery that would go on with that. Yeah. Be, I mean, it depends on the players you have. Yeah, if they can't handle it maturely and, and you have a table that likes to have fun like ours does, yeah, there's a lot of room for fucking shenanigans. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to call him an idiot and he can't hear me. Yeah. But he would be able to read lips. Yeah, that's what I assume. It's something the there's gotta be a There's got to be a fucking medium ground, man. I could see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, and, and maybe he talked. I can understand you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you go if you I mean you go something along the lines of. Uh, I actually had a player one time mm-hmm. that was a uh, uh, warlock sure. and took the uh, uh, melding of two minds or whatever. Okay, and so she could telepathically communicate with people. Word, um, and that's how her character communicated was all telepathically. Nice. Um, so I think, I think that's fun. I mean, it's sort of ways around it. It's just yeah. I don't see it. And I've never done it just because I'm not one of those people who take that shit seriously. I know only a few things in sign language, and none of them are good. Mm-hmm. I know bullshit. <laughs> Some bullshit. I know the alphabet. I don't. <laughs> I know Apple. I know Amy could <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't remember it. And this is why I don't play a handicapped character. <laughs> I'm handicapped in real life. I don't fucking need this. Oh my god. That's This is the bigger guy than this. <laughs> this is the colossal <laughs> Titan. Oh yeah, no, he's 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 bigger than Tarask. <laughs> god damn it. Look at his fucking stats. Oh my okay, god. Before we get ahead of ourselves, yeah, no. Here is uh Zilladakin. Zilladak. Zilladak. The Mind Devourer. Yeah. Uh, Colossal. um, Titan. 25 uh, AC. Now it is the biggest. 717 HP. I'm not even going to fucking comment on it because, yeah. (laughs) There's, there was like, if you were able to see my face at this very exact moment, the minute I saw this page, it was just like, no, he's the biggest. My brain was just like, nah, you're, you win. I'm just glancing down here, CR 30. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. This is a game over guy. Yeah, he's a, yeah, no, this is level 20. Maxed out characters cannot handle this. This is, this is a, yeah. This is like this would be like putting maxed out characters against him would be like putting a Taras against level tens. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. That's how I feel this is right now. Let's see what all the shit he can do. Okay, first off, what? I mean, his lowest thing is Dex. He don't need it though. Mm-hmm. Um, 30s in card and strength. 25, 20, 26. 26. Again. Tarasks against level tens. Yes, yeah. what this is. He's got strength, con, wisdom, and charisma saves. Oh my god! Oh, he's got <laughs> vulnerabilities though. He does have vulnerabilities. That's from hedron weapons. What the? Fuck? Oh, he's using <laughs> space weapons. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he's using space weapons. Wait, are they the little? Like dice people, the con- con- construct no, people. No, those are mono and duo drones and shit. Oh, okay. Right, where the fuck? Is it? No, no, no. I gotta know. I gotta know because there are space weapons. I just gotta find them. Laser weapons, firearms, something. Uh, okay, so he has damage resistances to acid, cold, fire, and lightning. So covering a good basis there. Pretty 
damage. All that good shit. He is straight up immune to psychic damage and bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. Mm-hmm. Um, he has can he cannot be charmed, exhausted, or frightened. I also would have kind of liked to see restrained. Sure. He's the fucking Titan. I mean, I, I mean, anything added on at this point is just fucking overkill. So I'm not gonna fucking critique this one. This was just one where he was angry and wanted to make something. That was just like, hey, this is what's up. He can telepathically speak up to 500 feet away. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna talk to you. Um, he has a passive of 24, and uh, true sight. He has fucking true sight up to 120 feet. Um, true everything. So 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 guys, I, I killed this guy all by myself, so I get all of that XP. Do you understand you don't if, get... <laughs> if we made that guy in the big old book and we gave it to somebody it's like, yeah, it was real easy. No, I would quit life. <laughs> I, would, I, I would tell I him would you're slash, a liar. I would slash or quit my wrists. I'd just be done with it. I'd be done. I'd be like, no, you're you're a liar, it's over, you ruined everything for me. I don't want to play this game ever again. I have nothing to do with it. I'd go macrame somewhere for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> that would be the end of it. I would be really upset. Um, it's got a Nate spellcasting. It's got to be the uh, spell save of twenty two. Fuck you! You goddamn. <laughs> um, it can use at will detect and dispel magic. Yeah, fuck you and uh, everything that you do. <laughs> yeah, no. You're doing something cool. Blah, blah. It three times a day. It can use confusion and counter spell at ninth level. <laughs> <laughs> So those spells you want to do, I'm not like counterspell them. And it's always gonna work. He is not immune to magic. Counterspell. <laughs> counterspell. Um, he can also use weird, which is nice. Um, I don't fully remember what weird does. I looked at it one time. I don't either, but I know it's fun. Um, and once a day, he can use divine word, which I feel like is probably like I am God. Hear me roar. I'm not gonna dig through the cards right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I believe it's divine word is either everything stops or everything he heals everything or he brings everything back to life or he kills everything. I summon Shinra. Essentially, yes. Uh, He's got feeble mind and plane shift, which is kind of cool. So this is the guy that's taking everybody from place to place. Uh, he's got legendary resistance, yep. so I don't need to use counter spell <laughs> right now. How many does he have? Three a day. I was uh, say, don't fucking give it more. I, I, I did lie. He does have magic resistance. <laughs> uh huh. Um, magic weapons. So his weapons are considered, his attacks are considered uh, magical. magical. Uh, pile of white dust. Pile of white dust, score from existence. Uh, his actions, multi attack. He can use its maddening presence, it then makes six attacks. Four with his fists and two with his tentacles. So he has to do maddening. He has to do everything. <laughs> he's everything. everything every turn. <laughs> everything every turn. So he's going to do maddening presence. It's just, it'll let's go in just, order. Yeah, let's just go in order. So first he's going to do maddening presence. Yeah, Each creature on, uh, of its choice within 120 feet. Um, and that, that is aware of it. Which I would hope you'd be aware of it. Yeah, um, it's a fucking <laughs> colossal tiny operation. Um... <laughs> Uh, must make a. Uh, you don't even have to hear it. You just have to be aware, aware that it's there. It's there. It, <laughs> so so much for fucking playing it deaf, dude. Right. You're not blind, dude, because you can still hear that shit in the ground. It's gonna shake. Yeah, you you are fully aware that it's there. Yeah. Um, you got to make a, if you're aware of it and within 120 feet, you have to make a DC 18 Wisdom save. Fuck. Um, Man. or become afflicted with short-term madness. <laughs> if a creature afflicted, afflicted with uh, short-term madness fails its saving throw, it becomes afflicted with long-term madness. Fuck. If a creature afflicted with long-term it madness fails, indefinite. afflicted with indefinite madness. Jesus, so, bananas. So yeah, three turns, you could be indefinite. You're, you're, you're going having insane. some kind of effect. You literally, if, if your DM pulls this out, just rip your sheet up into confetti and call it done. If you, if you, okay, if you fail those first three, mm -hmm. if he does it on the fourth turn, you and die. you fail, you die from psycho, psychopathic trauma, whatever. Psychological. Same difference. I'm not even trying to read it at this well, point. Well, the, the long, the indefinite madness can kill you. Right. So that's just basically giving you the worst case scenario. You go insane, you die. Your head pops. Mm. You ever see Watchmen? Yeah. Where Rorschach dies at the end? Yes. That's basically what I'm thinking. Just do it! 
Now, cool thing is, if you do pass it, you're immune to it for 24 hours. Which is nice. That is nice. That but is a good... No, it's not. Because it's literally putting a band-aid on the Hoover Dam. <laughs> you, you might have staunched a fucking crack, but the tide's still coming. <laughs> you're just now aware of what's going on. You're not blissfully insane anymore. You're just like, oh, well, now I'm dead. <laughs> now I'm dead. At least I'm not crazy. <sighs> I, and, and the way I would think of it is like, okay, maybe if I fail the first two and I have, you know, the uh, long-term madness. You ain't getting 24-hour resistance, but you're losing the insanity. Now it's got to start back over is what I would do. I would do it where you keep the long-term, but it just can't go any further. No, I'd either knock it down to short-term mm. for every success, or you erase it completely and now it just starts over from the beginning. I feel you. Instead of the resistance. Like, if you pass each time, you need to be immune to it. Or you pass the first time, you need to be immune to it. Oh, yeah. No, I feel you there. <sighs> and this, once again, this is one of my... The Maddie would just fail it, like, every would, single time. He would super hard. Um, he would also try to punch it. He would also... He would try... Man, he's going to swing by the tentacles. Step of the wind. <laughs> You're going to go right into its mouth. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to rip my way out of it. <laughs> It's just as thick on the inside as it is on the outside. So that's, that's just the first part of its multi-attack. Yeah, let's just go through that now. Uh, then it makes six attacks, four with his fist, which is a plus 19 to hit, 20-foot oh reach, and deals 36 average bludgeoning, or 4d12 plus 10. I feel like it should be 412 with the size of those fucking anchor arms he's swinging. <laughs> but maybe it's because he's walking on those two. He's just like sure. an arm in it. Yeah. Uh, then he makes two attacks with his uh, tentacruel. Sure, sure. Plus 30 19. Foot reach. 30 foot reach. Yeah. yeah I, I can't not. 28 uh, average bludgeoning. 4d8 uh, plus 10. Yep. And then it's going to try and. Oh, no, it's not grappling. So this is if it hits you, you got to make a DC 20 strength You're getting safe. knocked prone. You're going to get knocked prone. You're, gonna <laughs> knock prone. You're, you're getting knocked prone. And that's his first turn. <laughs> so he's, wait, so he's doing. Six. He's doing seven attacks. Mm-hmm. One turn. Mm-hmm. That's not counting his innate spell casting. No, nope. because he can do that shit at will. It's the cantrips are bo- basically bonus actions. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, on how you play it. I have sanctuary to spell. <laughs> Hold on. You're doing detect magic sanctuary. Cool. I got you. Yeah. Drop. I mean, just making your making the the entire party insane because it's not picking one; it's, it's everyone yeah. that he chooses in what 150 feet, 120 feet, 20 feet? whatever. Yeah, some might as well. At least it's not like 300. Like it's not it's not 500 feet like his telepathy. Jesus Christ, he's getting like the dudes in the tavern at this point. <laughs> <sighs> uh, this is the new Tarask we're going to be talking about. If- uh, so he has what do legend- you think about those Higante mini marks, those giant mini marks. <laughs> it's not more on its paradox. <laughs> Explain to me jumbo shrimp, and then they just go insane. <laughs> it's got legendary actions. It's right. got three points or whatever you want to call them. Sure, sure. Um, so grip of desolation. So he makes a fist attack. Yep. If the attack hits, the target is grappled. Auto. <laughs> With an escape DC of 20. You shouldn't even have an escape DC. If it's huge or smaller, the uh, smaller creature, and this thing doesn't have four other creatures grappled. And what? Wait, wait. Oh, okay. So if it if it hits you with the fist attack. Yeah. And because it, I, don't, I guess it has four arms? Yeah. Okay. Back up. For right here? With the, no, the, the picture. Oh. I mean. We got one there. We got one there. And then in the back, maybe? I, or he's a gargantuan colossal titan. I guess so. Because he can hold, I guess he can hold up four to people. four people. So if you're huge or smaller, mm-hmm. and he has three or less, he can he grapples you. Yes. But he has to, oh, no, no. It's because it's legendary action. So it's yeah. during pop and then rip. Yep. Um, until the grapple ends, the target is restrained and takes... 4d10 psychic damage at the start of each of its turns. So you escape with a DC 20. Yeah. Jesus. Good Christ. luck with that, guys. Yeah. I'm a barbarian. I don't give no fucks. Rage. Psychic damage. <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> and I mean, of all things to give it, psychic damage. 
Sure. Yeah. His hands are scary. He's rawr. Um, so let's see. Uh, Transgress of the mind. Okay. This is going to cost two of his actions. Uh, he casts Phantasmal Killer. No concentration. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Stone tricks. I need you to 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 run this for somebody. I, yeah, I need run to run it for, this us for me because, because I want to see how this is supposed to work. Phantasmal killer with no concentration. Are, are we required. level forty? No, <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Do we get all of the legendary epic boons? Yes, because that's what I think we should have. <laughs> And and I need like a luck blade in one hand. <laughs> I need auto. I need a dice that automatically rolls twenties for me. Yeah, I need that 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 D one that's got a D1. twenty on it. Yeah, it's always a D twenty. <laughs> it's it's a D twenty with twenty seven every number. <laughs> That'd be cool to make. I could dig that. Roll a D twenty for me. Okay, it's a twenty. <laughs> Roll it with disadvantage. It's what if another you just 20. picked it up and brought it? Like you got a dice like that, you picked it up before without telling anybody. You just took it to table, and you're just rolling. Oh man, it's a natural twenty, and then you just pick it back up, like behind my fucking screen, and I'm just like, oh man, that's natural twenty. Your turn. Shuk shuk shuk. God oh, man, another now on fire. Mean, and you could really like, no, like seriously look, and they'll just glance at it and see the top number yeah. and be like, well, fuck, it's fucking twenty. <laughs> it's a twenty. Um. And then he has Titan Presence. God damn it. He casts Banishment. What? So not only can he kill you on your turn without actually having to do anything, <laughs> he just makes someone else do it. I mean, <laughs> Phantasmal Killer is just going to do it. He's He can banish you. He can banish you. Behold the might of my God Slayer sword. He's, banish it. <laughs> he's literally Exodia. <laughs> it, it, he, somebody got all the five pieces and put it together. He's he's taking somebody to the shadow realm, dude. Oh, this dude, that's so awesome. Oh god, <laughs> Exodia, the forbidden one. Yes, no, I love it. Have fun in the shadow realm, kid. You're he, done. He's he's one of my new favorites, strictly because of Exodia. <laughs> I'm renaming him Exodia, the forbidden one. <laughs> You ever want to play a Yu-Gi-Oh D D session? There's your Exodia. <laughs> there's there's fucking Exodia. Oh that's, my god. That's fucked up. That, that's just too much. That okay. really is a slap in the face. Okay, we're out of them. We're, we're out of that. Now. <laughs> Back to reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not something that you encounter never. <laughs> I at least you dude, hope not. it's I have the PDF too. <laughs> I, I imagine Crystal oh would be really fucking mad at me. Our current campaign is called God Slayers. Yeah. Or God Killers, I'm sorry. Yeah, your current campaign is called the God Killer Chronicles. Oh, no. And you, <laughs> and you know something very specific about that campaign that no one else knows. Yes. <laughs> now you know how it happened. Oh, God. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, duh, we died today. <laughs> <laughs> Good death. Good death. <laughs> if I die, I die happy with a beer. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't kill Appa. <laughs> no, no. Appa, run. <laughs> just lumpy ass orcs just hopping <laughs> away. Just in the shadow of a big tentacle, like, no, run faster! <laughs> and it's coming down. Ave Maria starts playing in the background. <laughs> Doves fly by, and so ends the tale of Appa the Oryx. I could really see me though, like oh. if I had something like a scroll of like teleportation or something, like planar <laughs> shift, and like everybody's like, use it, the, and I used it on Appa. <laughs> but he would just go to that plane. <laughs> it's away from this thing. <laughs> no, but he would just go to that plane. Oh, that's true too. He would kill you all first, or like save you, and be like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> swap. That would be such a dick move, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know me a little too well. There's a chance. If okay. There's a will, there's a way. Onto more eyes that make fucking sense. <laughs> Infestation swarm. Yes. This is a medium form of tiny monstrosities. Very, very good descriptor. Uh, yes. Um, it's got a 14 AC. And a mouthful of bees. And a mouthful. I mean, that's a pretty creepy picture. Um... 44 HP. It, it can only has a fly speed of 30. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so it's not very strong, but it's very fast. Um, I mean, that's the big thing it has going for it's him. It's nimble. It's very nimble. Um, it has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Straight up. Because it's a fucking spawn. It doesn't matter if it's magical or not. Yeah. Um, condition immunities. It can't be charmed, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, prone, restrained, or stunned. I'm with it. Um, has a passive of 11. No I language. I thought it said 1. And I was like, <laughs> how the fuck is it not seeing things? <laughs> I was literally about to lose a little bit of hope. <laughs> but you just made that, and then fucking turn to this. Perception of 1. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's got like 8 million eyes. How does it not see? <laughs> Uh, it's a CR4. I'm with it. Uh, its feature is Swarm. The Swarm can occupy another creature's space. Okay, so yeah. Uh, the Swarm can move through any opening large enough for a tiny insect. The Swarm can't regain hit points or gain temporary hit points. It's going up your peephole. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's see. It's got a bite action, plus six to hit. Mm. Uh, reach of zero. So it has to be on you. It has literally. to be on you, yeah. Um, let's see. It's got uh, it deals twenty one or sixty six. Yeah, you got to figure it's gonna be more than one on you. Uh, or ten three d six piercing if the swarm has half of its hit points or fewer. It's okay, less. got you. Okay, that's cool. You got to figure the entire swarm is gonna overtake one person and mm-hmm. then just move on. Uh, and it has infest recharge oh, of six. Yeah. Uh, once a creature in this swarm space. Uh, one creature in the swarm space must make a, uh, or must succeed a uh, DC 14 con save or become infested by the swarm. The uh-huh. swarm then disappears inside the host and the target is incapacitated and loses control of its body. Lovely. The swarm now controls the body but doesn't deprive the target of awareness. Oh. That's nice. Um, the swarm can't be targeted by any attack spell or other effect and it retains its intelligence wisdom and charisma uh it otherwise uses the infested target's statistics but doesn't gain access to the target's knowledge uh class features or uh proficiencies the infestation lasts until the body uh drops to zero hp and the swarm ends or the swarm ends it as a bonus action or it the swarm is forced out by an effect that removes disease like Lester Restoration. Sure. Uh, when the infestation ends, the swarm reappears in an occupied space within five feet of the body. The target is immune to the swarm's effect for 24 hours if it succeeds on the saving throw or mm-hmm. after the infestation ends. I would like to see something like this happen, mm-hmm. like you do with the doppelganger. Mm-hmm. Where the party doesn't know what's happened, but the one player does, just so they can kind of yeah. Because you gotta, I gotta have somebody yeagering that thing. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it in a heartbeat. Uh, that would be pretty. I would also do it because it'd be constant biting on the inside, so it'd be like. Uh, uh, that just gives me like heebie-jeebies. It'd be the dude from Men in Black. Oh, the cockroach dude. Yeah. Yeah. With just a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sugar water. <laughs> Sugar. It, it, anything else? Water. <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> oh, Vincent D'Onofrio, when you were skinny, you were fat. I, I dig that just for the infest, infestability. I, 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 like I like it. Dude, our cannibal infestation. That would be so fun. That'd be crazy. Oh, dude, imagine having, being like, we always go back to Shino anytime we look at bugs. Yeah, that's not there. But, like, Shino with uh, Arcanamites. Yes. That'd be kind of cool. I also had another thought with Arcanamites. Game based around it, where there's no more magic in the world, because everyone has an Arcanamite. Oh, everybody's addicted. Everyone's got an Arcanamite. And it's just like, it just eats and eats and eats and everyone thinks it's just natural and then somebody one day just pops one off and it's like oh, I can do things yeah I can see I can fight <laughs> take off your arcanamites yeah take off don't let them control you <laughs> we're on to K's K the Kieran Kieran uh the lesser Kieran <laughs> it's a heartbreaker because there's no greater I know right 
And all I can think of is, once again, weeaboo. So all, every time I see Kieran, I'd be gone with a thunderclap because uh, that's uh, okay. uh, Sasuke's, like, it's called the Kieran. Uh, mm-hmm. It's lightning in the shape of a fucking dragon mm-hmm. that comes down, and it, it <laughs> boom. Ooh. That's how he essentially kills uh, Itachi. Oh. And if if that's a spoiler for you, I mean, that, that happened like years ago. It's <laughs> so, a spoiler for me. I, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I saw them fight and I thought he killed Mari, so almost that didn't happen. I don't know. It, it happened when you more or less twice. When he brought out Susano and yeah. his other one, and they were like, Bar! and then dead. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Tori watching that, that fight, because I was like, Tori, you have to watch this. Like, she's not a huge anime person. Mm-hmm. She kind of liked Naruto, but sure. I showed her that fight. And in the beginning, you know, it's all the Sharingan. And, like, they have this whole fight scene in their heads. Yeah. And it shows you this fight scene, though. But it doesn't, you know, you know, just like with all the other Sharingan yeah. stuff, it doesn't show you until the end. And so she's watching it and, like, damn, they're really going at it. They're really going at it. And then it's got uh, uh, Zetsu... The little plant guy uh, up in the like rafters, essentially coming mm-hmm. out of the wall, watching it. And White Zed Sue's asking Black, "Why are they just standing there?" Oh. And it shows them both just standing there. And it's like, fun fact: <laughs> Zed Sue is Scamma. What? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> are you fucking serious? Hundred percent. Oh my god. That's dope. Yeah, Sam Regal plays that too. <laughs> but no, Tori had, after she saw that, she was like, no, wait, what? So it was all in their heads? I'm like, yeah, they were just like using the shines on back and forth on yeah. each other. And then the rest of the fight, like literally all the way up until. None of this is real. Yeah, she was like, but is it real? <laughs> yeah, I, like, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that having that same thought. Like, what is it real? Is it real? Because every time he thought it was real, then it was like Sharingan. Sharingan. Like, you know, he ripped out Sasuke's eye. Ah! And then it flashes back and he's Sasuke's just like, okay, my eye's still intact. He it's just good. used it. Yeah. <laughs> That's Sharingan. It's cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is a large celestial. Mm-hmm. Uh neutral good. Nice. Yeah, I think this is the first good we've seen. Yes. We haven't seen any that weren't good aligned. Yeah. Um, so we got, uh, AC of 14, 83 HP. It has a fly and walk speed of 40. Nice. So it can fly. It just like gallops across the air. Yeah. It's gazelle version. Yeah. I like the way that looks too. It's pretty dope. It's very majestic. Mm-hmm. Um, very strong, 20, uh, strength. Mm-hmm. Um, very charismatic. Uh, I was really, I, I looked down here where I thought language was, and I was like, you know, he just put feet, right? Like, what's up, what's up with this? <laughs> his, his language is feet. <laughs> what? He tap dances. He's the lord of the dance. <laughs> yes! Um, he's, okay, so he's just not the smartest celestial. But he's over most beast line. Things. Yes, he is. He, I mean, he's got he's an average. average. Um, he's got con and wisdom saving throws. Sure. A passive of 12. Sure. He can speak celestial, common, sylvan, and telepathically uh, up to <laughs> yeah feet, um, up to 120 feet. Yeah, has a CR five. With it, um, charge. So if he moves at least 20 feet in a straight line towards a creature and hits it with the horn attack, um, on the same turn, they have to make a DC 12 strength save or be knocked prone. Oh, you're all. Uh, if the target is prone, uh, it can make one. Hoof's attack uh, mm. as a bonus attack, uh, bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the horn is a plus eight to hit. Um, it deals eighteen average three d eight plus five piercing. With it. The hoof attack is a plus eight to hit, twenty one average, three d eight plus five bludgeoning. Those are just the attacks. Then it also has three times a day healing touch. Nice. So it can touch another creature uh, with its snout. Um, the target magically regains 11 or 2d8 plus 2 hit points. You. Crystal would have made a pucker reference. I, I, knew, I know. I saw it. You had it in your head just like I did. Crystal would have made a pucker reference. With a boop to your snooper. Oh, it also removes uh, any diseases and neutralizes all poisons afflicting the target. Nice. That is. He's the mini anther deer god from Mononoke. Yeah! I see that. 
it was your dog. Oh, okay, my dog just was like, he was squeaking at the door. Um, it also has teleport once a day. I'm okay with that too. Um, and it can take uh, wait, wearing or carrying. I would say it can take one person. It can't. Um. Oh no, it can. Along, I mean, I no. It I can. Mean, the carrier magically teleports itself along with any equipment it is wearing or carrying to a location the carrier is familiar with up to one mile away. I'm, I, I'm equipment. I, I mean, I would I would say if you're riding on this thing back, yeah, it's gonna it take can, you. It's gonna take you. I mean, I could see. I mean, it's not gonna be a pack animal. I mean, no, it's yeah, it's a fucking celestial. So just assume. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. It's gonna carry a person and but, be like hi ho silver. My my whole thing was like if somebody was hurt, yeah, you could like lay it across and be like, go, oh. yeah. But in my mind, I was picturing Surge. And I'm like this thing ain't teleporting Surge. <laughs> nah, it's strong. I mean, enough. I was about to say it, it might because it, I mean it's a twenty strength. It's stronger than Appa. And Appa carried you. Fuck you. <laughs> stronger <laughs> than Appa. <laughs> Uh, Abba's not a fucking celestial. <laughs> He's true. just a fucking field of ox. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Anybody that's wondering, Surge is the character from my character from uh, God Killers, and he's a uh, Goliath. You're, you're. He's big. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Uh, so, what do you think about the Kieran? I think he's dope. I'm waiting on the less or the the greater Kieran. We got the lesser. Yeah. Give us greater. Or give us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do we my whole thing is Kieran, why would, would you put lesser point? unless. I mean, I guess he, maybe he's working on it, but it's very possible. I mean, this it's is a monster, a monster day. day compendium, and he just hasn't gotten there. I mean, fuck, you don't want to make the same thing and just bump the stats. You want to give it something different. Yeah, you yeah take really. the easy way out. Unless his name is Lesser. <laughs> lesser. The I almost thought there was one E missing in there, and I was like, maybe it really is, and we're just stupid. <laughs> I call upon you, Lesser. <laughs> Hate us. Uh, so we got Cobalts. Here you are. Uh, looks like we got a Cobalt Commander, yep. a Cobalt Hero, yep. Cobalt Shaman, and Cobalt Bully. Yep. And a Cobalt Soldier. Yep. Uh, so let's see. Commander. Uh, it's got, ooh, damn. Uh, Chainmail and a Shield. So AC of 18. Oh my god. That's pretty hard to hit. Um, but 11 HP. He meets the bare minimum res res requirements for Chainmail. Right. So. Okay. Um, 30 movement speed. Pretty standard across the board. I mean, charisma's not great. Cubone. It's a, yes! Look. Yes! It's a fucking Cubone. That's awesome! <laughs> right on! I dig it. <laughs> it's got a dark vision up to 60 feet, passive of 10. Yeah. Speed common and draconic. Your, your uh, half challenge rating. Fair enough. Uh, it has sunlight sensitivity. Do all cobalts? I believe no. But I believe that they might have something in there, but I don't think it's a common thing. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, it also has pack tactics, which I believe they do have. Yes. Uh, he has a long sword, plus three to hit, and a long bow, plus three to hit. Boom. So pretty simple. I would have... I would think, though, being the commander, that he would be able to do something. Sunlight sensitivity is a thing. Okay, cool. And pack tactics. Uh, then, I mean, besides having a higher AC, mm -hmm. I would have liked to see something more with the commander. What? That's. I mean, that's all he has. Yeah. The the big thing that defines him is the the AC. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, even just glancing shield. over here. Yeah. Well, that's the AC. I mean, even just glancing over here, it has less hit points than the bully. Fair. Huh. So, I mean, I would have liked to see something maybe like, you know, like, like the commanding Yarl? presence yeah. or something. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. So, that's the commander. Uh, A little lackluster. Yeah. Um, so, we got the bully. 14 AC, 21 HP. Um... Okay, so his stats are average and below, mm -hmm. um, with Dex being the highest at 15. Mm -hmm. um, dark vision up to 60 feet, uh, and he's a challenge rating 1. Yep. Now, granted, the commander is a half challenge rating. Huh. Um, it's also got the uh, 
Sunlight Sensitivity. Yeah, Pack Tactics. Pack Tactics. Short Spear. You can make uh, two melee weapon attacks with the multi-attack. Uh -huh. uh, so two spear attacks plus four to hit. Uh -huh. uh, can use a sling, but yeah. you don't see sling a lot. Not really. Uh, plus four to hit. Uh -huh. And then a uh, low blow, which is a recharge of four to six. So the, co the kobold. Five to six. What did I say? Four. Okay, five to six. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Uh, the kobold makes a cheap shot against a creature that he can see within five feet. Not much. Yeah, essentially. Exactly what it is. Um, it has to make a uh, DC 12 con save or become incapacitated. It's not much. <laughs> it's not much. <laughs> Why isn't that something so fun on the commander? I'm, I'm a little upset about that. The bully is fun. The bully is fun. I'm with it. And this might be the bully right here, actually. It's got, it's the, got spear. the spear. Yeah, yeah. So that's not the commander. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Now, we did skip a lot of juxtaposition at the top of like, the different descriptions. True. So maybe that had something to do with it. So let's that. see, Commander. I'm never alone. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, so due to the combat-hardened and wary nature of Cobalt Commanders, uh, they, are, they are never far away from soldiers. They often carry horns made of bone to warn and call to aid to aid of nearby the aid of nearby cobalt. Sure. So I guess the big thing with the cobalt commander is the fact that there's there's, there's gonna be a lot of other cobalts around here. Yeah. Um I would definitely give them like a commanding presence or like a maneuver thing at that point. Uh the bully has the uh brood of the pack. Mm. So phys uh born physically larger and stronger then others of the, of the tribe, a cobalt bully fights its way through the society hierarchy. Uh, a cobalt bully works as muscle for the tribe, serving as guards and vanguards in battle. Okay. okay. With a nut punch. Yeah, nut punch is funny. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Incapacitates, which is funny. I know, right? <laughs> Side note, you also speak in a high pitched voice. <laughs> Your octave goes up. <laughs> Your vocal register goes <laughs> higher. <laughs> I don't think I like this guy. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's a shaman. Yeah, he's cool looking. He's like, he's a mix between Batty from Fern Gully yes! and an alligator. Yes, I do. Uh, so we got the hero. Sure. Uh, 18 HP. Uh huh. Uh, 54. I'm sorry, AC 18. Um, 54 HP. Uh, so that's like the beefiest cobalt I think I've seen ever. I might have a few that are a little, a little beefier. Uh, he's got no negatives across the board. Yeah, but his strength ain't fucking no. nothing. Uh, dark vision, 60 feet. He's a CR4. He's got the sunlight sensitivity, pack tactics. Rapier. Uh, Multi-attack, you make two with the rapier. Uh, he has, he's a fucking legendary. What the fuck? Uh, so let's see. He's got three of them. Scurry, the cobalt moves up to have its speed uh, without provoking, or up to its speed, uh, without uh, provoking opportunity attacks. Sure. Stabby yeah. makes one melee attack. Yeah. And then pocket sand. Yes. Oh my god, pocket, pocket sand. sand. <laughs> Why? So the cobalt throws sand in the creature, at a creature that he can see within five feet. The target must make a DC 12 mm -hmm. dex save or be blinded until the cobalt's next turn. End of the cobalt next That's turn. Part of waking up is pocket sand. Pocket sand. Okay. Why did he miss such a good opportunity with the commander then? I, that's what I'm wondering because both of those two. Those were good. Those are really good. We you still got nut punch and pocket sand. <laughs> pocket sand. That's a legendary action. I'm gonna pocket sand you. Uh, let's see. We got the cobalt shaman. Yeah. Uh, AC thirteen. Yep. Uh, HP twenty seven. Um. Pretty standard across the board. Yeah. Strength is below average. Sure. Hmm. I expected that with a caster. Yep. Uh, we got a uh, challenge rating of two. He has spell casting. He's a fourth level spell caster. DC 12 plus four to hit. Yep. Uh, cantrips, druid craft, <laughs> produce flame, and shillelagh. Uh, first level, he's got cure wounds, fog cloud, healing work. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, second level, flaming sphere, which is cool, and heat metal, which is also very cool. It's got... Sunlight sensitivity and pat tactics. And a club. And a club. He's going to hit you with this stick. I'm with it. Um, it's a plus one to hit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and deals basically one damage. Yeah. So, woo! 
I mean, he's a good support. <gasps> There's another cool that the soldier is the last one. Yep, that's these are the guys that are all around the uh, mm -hmm. the commander. Mm -hmm. So let's see what they got. Um, Nothing. Fancy. 50, yeah, it looks like it. Fifteen AC, mm -hmm. seven hit points. Uh, Stats are kind of baseline across the board. Yep. Quarter challenge rating, standard sensitivity and tactics. <laughs> yep. A short sword and a long bow. Yeah, that's okay. They're they're the they're they're kobolds. But with another name and an they're expendables, weapon. yeah. But not cool expendables like in the movie. They're <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, we'll give you that one. I never watched the expendable movies. I watched the first one, and then I think they made like six more after that or something. They and, did. And I, I just, I mean, okay, so this one I can understand just being kind of plain and whatever. Mm. But you could use a regular cobalt for that. That's true. Maybe because they have the two extra weapons. I guess. But I don't really see anything too fancy about it. The commander I'm a little disappointed with. I am too. The shaman, the bully, and the... Lizard, hero. The hero I liked. Yeah. Uh, shaman is a, it's a spell casting. It's a casty one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I definitely dig the bully. The bully <laughs> and the hero are good. Pocket sand, nut punch is... Or nut punch and pocket sand is a really bad combination. Ah! Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> incapacitated and then blinded and just like and now, now what you can do is you can get the bully that became the hero and fuse them i still i still really like the idea of doing pocket sand first and then nut punching somebody <laughs> just as like salt in the wound like you can't see me wow <laughs> it's just john cena and you <laughs> Kraken Hashling. Yeah. This is cool. We went up against a kind of against a Kraken. You did kind of. Kind of. Yeah. It appeared. <laughs> you and tried I, to hit it. And I and I hit it. I did like one damage to it, but I hit it. God I, damn I, it. I think the damage was the game. <laughs> yeah, it probably I can't was. Remember, but I'm, I, I think you were like, okay, so you did uh something. You you did some damage to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember because you you said something that was like very hinty, either either directly or kind of indirectly, but that was still more like I'm gonna shove this in your face until you realize this. I railroaded pretty hard. I know that because you were like I'm gonna try to kick its ass, and I was like you're not gonna be able to. Like, I had a special like ritualistic dagger, and I'm like eh, stab it. Yeah, but stab you it. had you had the ritualistic book too, and I was like, well, if we killed a priest that summoned the kraken. Knife in book. It goes away. I was kind of like, I, well, like my first thought was like, fear me. <laughs> I have the book and the dagger. <laughs> book, dagger. What are you doing about it? Yeah. And <laughs> it didn't, it, yeah, it's, it was the scene from, uh, <laughs> from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, so this is a huge monstrosity, Titan. Yep. Uh, 17 HP, or er, AC, uh, 230 HP. Yeah. It's got a movement. It's actually a land speed of 30 yeah, cool. and, a, and a swim speed of 50. Good. Uh, 22 strength. There's no negatives across the board, but lowest being dex at 11. Fair. Uh, it's got strength, con, and wisdom saves. Mm -hmm. Resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical. Yep. Uh, it's immune to lightning, which yep. I would think that no. it would be, you know. I think the regular Kraken has that too. It probably does. But I would just think that it would be like vulnerable to lightning. Eh. Uh, but it can't be frightened or paralyzed. It has true sight up to 60 feet. It can understand uh, abyssal, celestial, infernal, primordial. Candle speaky. Yeah, damage immune is to lightning. What? Krugan. Um, it uh, is a CR twelve. Yeah, it's amphibious, so it can breathe air and water. Yep, yep, that's it. Um, and then it goes straight into actions. Doesn't have freedom of movement. Mm, yeah. like the big kraken. This is just a hashling. It has to learn. Sure, I'm with you. Um, oh, glancing over here, lightning field. I guess that's why it's immune to lightning. Yeah, because it's got lightning stone. Oh, snap. Yeah. Uh, so the bite is a plus 15 to hit. Uh, deals average of 15 damage. If the target is medium or smaller, it's grappled. Uh, or wait, what? 
it, if the target is me or smaller. smaller. The creature. Look at how it's worded, though. If right. the target is medium or smaller creature, grap. Oh, okay. So, if the target is a medium or smaller creature grappled by the kraken, okay. the creature is swallowed. So straight up, if it is grappled, if it is grappled, it's swallowed. If okay. It bites it. So like, if he and then glomp, he's gonna eat it. Okay. But he can't eat it and glomp it straight away. He has to grapple it first. Okay, so while swallowed, the creature is blinded and restrained. All that good stuff. Yep. Um, it's going to be taking 21 acid damage uh, average at the start of each of the Kraken's turns. If it takes 25 damage or more in a single turn from that creature or a creature inside of it, um, it has to make a 25 uh, D a DC 25 con save uh, at the end of that turn or regurgitate all that it, the all of the swallowed creatures, mm. which I think is cool. Yeah, at least it's not guaranteed. I I would probably make it a guaranteed. Mm. I also like the fact that it's it's a pretty high DC. Yeah, so it's not guaranteed to fucking. I mean, it's kind it of giving it a chance, but then it's like, you know, I'd be kind of pissed if I'm trapped inside the kraken and I'm like my ultimate attack and like I waste critted. all my shit and it doesn't do anything and it's like, well, that sucks. Yeah. So. Um, if the Kraken dies, a, a creature can get out of it. Yeah. Basically. Uh, Tentacruels, plus 10 to hit, 15 reach. Uh, average of 13 damage, um, and it automatically grapples you uh, with an escape DC of 17, so that's kind of hard to get out of. Um, you're considered restrained. Mm. The Kraken has 10 tentacles, each of which can grapple one target. So yeah. it can grapple up 10 people. How much is his multi-attack? Three tentacles... Oh, I missed that. Multi attack. Make three tentacle attacks, each uh, of which it can replace with one use of fling. Fling. Okay, so so if it's got three people, it can do fling three times. So you can mix and match. Gotcha. Which fling is one medium or smaller object held or creature grappled by the kraken is thrown up to thirty feet in a random direction and knocked prone. Nice. Uh, thrown target strikes a surface. It takes three or 1d6 bludgeoning for every 10 feet, uh, max of 3d6. Um, if the target is thrown uh, into another creature, the creature makes a DC uh, 17 dex save um, or takes uh, same, same damage, damage not, not prone. prone. Uh, then it has lightning field on a recharge of five or six. All creatures within 60 feet of the Kraken must make a DC 17 con save, taking 28 average lightning damage on a failed, half as much on a success. Jesus. Yeah. Legendary actions, it has three. It's got the tentacle attack or fling, so it can make one Either tentacle. One yep. yeah. uh, release the Kraken. Uh -oh. The Kraken removes all magical effects on itself that reduce its speed or cause it to be restrained and escape escapes from any non-magical restraints or being grappled. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing to grapple that thing? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like... <laughs> I mean, I guess a really big net. <laughs> a really big net. I mean, I guess an armada of ships. I guess if I guess if you you know you really have one of those players that because what I'm thinking is uh, I, I actually I may not be sure, but you know how some texts don't specify during like certain situations. I don't know if uh, Thornwhip does if it says like medium or smaller. Uh, creatures yeah i can't remember but things like that if it doesn't say that mm. well i grappled it and i pulled it 10 feet towards me you pulled that thing 10 feet towards you i might pulled a tentacle <laughs> you might have slid towards it <laughs> i pulled it sure sure you, you did kid. but you know you, you might have a player that's i i grappled it because it doesn't specify i'm with you yeah. so boom that's yeah, he gets out of it <laughs> <laughs> How does he get out of it? Release the Kraken? <laughs> it's a very popular phrase. Ever heard of it? <laughs> now that's going to take two of its actions. But, I mean, that's fine. Wawa Surge. Wawa Surge. I like that. Uh, it's going to cost all three actions. A creature... Uh, Strong current. I don't know where I got all that from. <laughs> Guys, it's like 1230. It's 1230, yeah. It's... Um, a strong current... I almost said creature again. I know you did. A strong current surges from the Kraken. Each creature... There you go. That's probably where I was getting it from. Uh, within 30 feet of the Kraken, must make a DC 17, almost said 12. 
strength saving throw or be pushed up to 30 feet away from the Kraken. On a success, the creature is pushed 10 feet away from the Kraken instead. Yeah, it's Hydro Pump. Yeah! Bubble Beam. <laughs> okay, so... It's a baby Kraken. It's a baby Kraken. And he's got a fancy hat. Yeah. He's got a real fancy hat. He has some evil eyes, though. Yeah. I mean, the other one looks even scarier, so... <laughs> That's true. On to the ills. Yep. Technically, this is where where we were gonna stop. Where we're gonna it's stop. Up to you, man. Um. Yeah, we'll call it for for this video for tonight. Pretty late. Yep. Um. So far, only downside. Go Walt Commander. Yeah. It was really the only one I was kind of like, I kind of ran flat. Yeah. But I mean, ninety fucking some odd monsters in a book. You're gonna have a fucking dud. Yeah, I, I mean, the pros outweigh the cons. Yeah, Mo is sucking, definitely. Um, and, and I think it's kind of funny that, you know, Arcanamite is the very first one, but that's like when we constantly go it's, back to, it's it, a really good monster. It was super good. It was very fucking simple in what it did, but it was super good. And I mean, if we hadn't reviewed Evil Doll to begin yeah. with. That's still up there because that one in itself, the shit that it can do is just really yes. good. Evil Doll was really, really good. Which I mean, I I like I would really want to play it, but I wouldn't want Crystal to get like mad or anything. Yeah, too fucking tough titties targles into her. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, because Evil Doll is really good. It's fun. It's really, really good. I'd make it Chucky on purpose just to spite her. It constantly says friends to the end. It friends to the end. <laughs> What's his fucking chant thing that he does? His little like satanic oh, uh, prayer thing. Uh, all I can remember is like spell that uh Yeah, whatever magic Give spell. me the power I beg of you. I mean it's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> It's it's, fun. it's it's what puts his soul into the doll. And what new favorite monster? Yeah, Zilla deck. Yeah, <laughs> that's not fair. I, can't, a, I, I know I can't use that one. I was about to say like 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 what's what's another one? What's 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 um? What did we get done? Um, let's see. Nut puncher, the bully. The nut puncher. The bully, I think, was definitely up on that list. Let's see. What do we do? Um, we started at H's. All right, so we got the Hawk Fox, yep. Headless Horseman. That was pretty fun. Uh, we got the Illits. Yeah. Uh, the Infestation Swarm, which is probably I right like there. that one too. Yeah, I do like that one too. Uh, like, okay, so Hero or Bully Hero Hero Bully Swarm Hero. Mm -hmm. Those are my top three in that order. Okay. Um, I I think it's a little bit of a tie. Between the Infestation Swarm and the Kirin. The Kirin's dope too. I, I see a lot of, not necessarily roleplay, but a lot of yeah. interesting things that could happen with it. And we haven't seen a good aligned monster yet. So. Yeah, that's true. Mm, excuse me. We see the aligned monster. Closest thing is neutrals or no alignment. Yeah, and I mean, that's fine. They're neither bad nor good. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fight, but this one's just straight out good. So he's aiming to help. Yeah. Unless you're a dick. Um, I like the Headless Horseman for the uh, roleplay aspects and the comedy that can come along with the fear. Sure. I mean, he's it. super well-rounded. I yeah. have no complaint with him. Um, and I would I would uh, really like to see Hawk Foxes in a group. That's how I would like to play them. Sure. Um, I mean, Hawk Fox is good, too. But, yeah. So, Infestation Swarm, Kieran. Uh, if I had to add a third, I'm not... In love with the Kraken Hatchling. Eh. I'm going to keep out the Illits. <laughs> yeah. So go to Headless Horseman. Sure, okay. Um, yeah. Unf I think you and me are on the same page as far as the letdown for this one is the, the commander. commander. Commander all day long. There's, like, the soldier, you you could just as easily pull a fucking cobalt out of the monster manual or Volos. Yes. I forgot about the soldier altogether. I mean, it's, it's there, it's basic. It might be different because it has two weapons, but Volos has a handful of cobalts mm. and a whole dungeon you can run based off of cobalts that you can build. And then the monster manual has 
two kobolds you can run with just for straight up basic kobolds. It's they're in there. Um, the commander probably could have done without unless he threw in something very, very, uh, very unique for the kobolds. Yeah, and also Aaron Drake is his name, but it's spelled weird. Aaron Drake, his name for Stone Drake, I'm assuming. What? Yeah, there was an enjoy Aaron Drake, but it was spelled really weird. Down. Yeah, I was just looking up here real quick. Uh, Compiled by. Oh, never mind. Fuck. Never mind. I was wrong. That's just somebody else. So this is inspired on the compendium created by this person. Yeah. No. So, yeah. This inspired on the compendium created by. Blank okay. Blank. So we might have to be looking up. Uh, him too. Yeah. And doing another set. Yeah. I mean, if this if this inspired if his Stone stuff tricks to do shit. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely inspired me to make shit. Yeah. In terms of just shit you can use. Mm hmm. No, definitely. I mean, I've I've thought about it before, but like really looking at them and and and, and dissecting them a little bit. I think that's maybe want to do it. We're a little too critical though. At the same token, sure. I mean, look how long it took to do the first chapter of BB, and even yeah. then, we're still nitpicking. Mm -hmm. So, but Nightmare Titan, oh my god, what? Yeah, that's in there somewhere. We didn't get that. Far. No, we're not at ends yet. I just wanted to like just kind of look at stuff. Fame monster. Was there a fame monster? No. Which means it was a picture used. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, yeah, I just wanted to kind of look at all this stuff. Yeah, he credited every fucking part. Yes. So I have to assume he just was picking pictures. Yeah. So like the chain spears, the chainer geist. Mm. But okay, just wanted to look at those. Crack and attack. That would be the baby crack. Yes. Yep, so uh so yeah, next video we'll be going over Into the L's. L's, M's, uh C's and probably P because there's only one. You said C's. What did I say? C's. No. I said the O's. O's. I, I think I, I I I'm just saying orcs and there was the C and the orc. Whatever, guys. I thought that said orca and I was like, "Come on, man. Oh two God. mistakes in, in a row." Yes. <laughs> Shamu and Willie. <laughs> I'm just really mad at you. But uh, thanks for stopping by, taking a look behind the screen on another edition of Stone Strix Monster Day Compendium. Uh, thanks for hanging out. As always, I'm Dave. That's Jim. Woo! And uh, don't bruise your coconut. Yeah!